Miss Hilburn here. This is gonna be your demo on doing batik. I looked for a video that existed already, but I couldn't find a good one, uh, so I decided to just make one. So your first step for batik will be to draw out the pattern that you wanna use. Uh, you don't have to do that if you wanna just freestyle it with the glue, but I think it's easier to give yourself some guidelines with pencil. So you're gonna take the washable glue, and you need it to be the washable one, not the glue all. Uh, because it needs to come out with water at the end of this process. So all you're gonna do is trace over your lines with glue. And then once you've traced it in glue, you're just gonna let that dry. Okay, glue is dry. Now we're gonna be using acrylic paint. We're using acrylic because we don't want it to wash out of this fabric when we wash our glue out. So the glue is gonna act as a resist. So anywhere you put glue, it is going to be the same color as the fabric. So you're going to use the acrylic paint paint and you want it fairly watered down. So you're creating a, an acrylic wash. You're going to go in and paint your fabric. So when you've painted your batik, you're gonna let the paint dry completely now. Now our paint is dry, so all we have to do is get rid of the glue that's on there acting as the resist. So you can do that a couple of ways. You can soak it in water and that glue will start to dissolve. The acrylic paint will not come off. Uh, or if you have a large amount, it can go in the washing machine. Uh, no soap or anything, just water will take the glue out. So if you have a larger piece or if we had a lot, uh, we could do it that way. But if you just have a small piece, you can just soak it and that glue will dissolve. I just put mine down in a cup of water to soak. Uh, you can tell the water's getting kind of cloudy, which is where the glue is dissolving, which is what you want to see. Uh, if you want to use one of the paint cups, you definitely can. If it's not big enough, we can find a bigger container. Or we can use a big bucket if multiple people end up doing batik. And we can all soak the glue together. So now you have your finished batik. All of the glue is out. The colors are super vibrant. And then the white is really nice and bright because the glue resist worked. So now your last step from here would just be to hang it to dry.